Hello, I'm Jamie Shibley, CEO of The Expressory. And if you're new to us, The Expressory is a strategic engagement agency. We work with businesses who want to grow through relationship first strategies. And today what I'm going to uh, share with you is how showing up consistently and engaging your important contacts will open up opportunities that you can't even imagine today. And I'm gonna do this by sharing uh, an experience from um, my college years. And so what I want to show you, or what I really want you to take away from this is how persistence to stay top of mind ultimately can lead to compounding opportunities the longer you're in those relationships. And then I'm gonna give you some tips for obviously applying this to your business relationship. So um, my college experience. At the end of this video, I am going to attach a um, an interview that I did with Dr. Elizabeth um, Rossner, Dr. Roz. And she is the author of Debt-Free Degrees. So she's an expert on helping others understand how to fund their education using other people's money. Fantastic, right? Uh, so when she and I got to know each other, she interviewed me uh, because I was fortunate enough to uh, have my schooling paid for. And what I'm bringing to you today is really how that played out shaped who I am how, and, and what I do in business today. So the story that you will hear it basically goes into um, late into the first year in college. You know, my parents were paying for my degree as, as far as we had planned. And late into that first year, I happened to be visiting with my business counselor again. And the minute I walked in that room, she had one of these moments where it was like, oh my God, you, I forgot you. And she realized that she had just been going through and um, uh, listing students uh, for an application for a full tuition scholarship based on uh, certain criteria, GPA and whatnot. And I qualified for that. But at the time she had forgotten me until this moment, till I showed up once again. So, you know, in summary, we it all worked out. And I was able to have my degree paid for for the remaining three years of my college. Now, um, starting that process and the and our relationship, I kept showing up. I visited with her often, and it led us to conversation where she identified a number of other opportunities for me. She introduced me to the dean of the school, and he you'll hear in the interview, I mean, he later got me an internship at the company who funded my education. Um, we created an internship, and it was the first such program in that um division, uh, all because I kept checking in. The opportunity wasn't there, but because we had planted the seed, I kept coming back to the conversation. And it wasn't just selfishly. I was you know, talking with them about plenty of other things, and including you know, input into some of the, the programs. And, and I was eventually invited into one of the advisory boards, but I was helpful to them as well. Um, and it and then it just so happened to turn into an internship, a 20 year career, and they funded my um, master's degree. So you can see that just by showing up and maintaining that, all of these things opened up. And that's what I want you to understand for your business as well. Just because the opportunities may not look available today, by continuing to stay in conversation just because you care um, shows that person that you are someone uh, to collaborate with and they want to be around you and they want to help you out. And then suddenly those opportunities appear. So, you know, going forward in your business, be persistent, right? Stay top of mind by being helpful, simply by showing up and asking about them and what's going on in their space. And just because it looks like nothing may be happening today or they may not be interested in your services today, it doesn't mean it's a no for the long term. But you got to keep going back and 
persistent, right? Um, adding value, give first, right? That's always a key. Uh, how can you give them resources, make other introductions for them because it, it does make people want to reciprocate. Uh, and then finally, just overall be genuine. One of the biggest things I learned is, I think we've all experienced this, is that transactional people show up when they need something. We've all, we know people like this. They only come around when they need something from you. But relationship people show up because they care. And if I could see more of us like that, I think the world would be a much better place. So you know, keep that in mind as you're developing all of those important relationships in your business. And I think you will be surprised at what opens up. Now, again, following this, I will play that full interview if you're interested. It's a great conversation with Dr. Roz and I'm always happy to make an introduction to her as well if, if you wanna learn more about debt-free degree. Um, but if you uh, wanna continue this conversation, if you have stories of your own, or have any questions about you know, relationship or strategies, there will be a link uh, in the uh, description where you can join one of our Q&As or reach out and find me. Thanks for listening. Hello, debt-free degree beloveds. I am here with a dear friend, Jamie Shibley. Jamie and I have uh, just recently had some time together one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. However, her reputation preceded her for years. And so when I finally got to meet her in person, in person, I mean, on Zoom, uh, one day I will get a hug in real life. Uh, but until right. then, I was so excited. And so then in the course of our conversation about something completely different, she told me her college story. And so I invited her to come and share that story with us. And so thank you, thank you, thank you, Jamie, for uh, first yeah. of all, for being here and for being who you are. What a love you Oh, thank you. Thank you. So are you. And this, this is why this is just so much fun. <laughs> thank you. Well, and I'm just, I am grateful that it, that you would have me because that this story might help others. So. Yes. Yes, it's yeah. huge. It's huge. It's huge. So I, uh, as I mentioned to you offline, I want you to share what you're comfortable with. So if I, you know, yeah. delve into an area, you're like, mm, I don't really want to talk about that. That's fine. <laughs> but if you, if you would just kind of share like what, what you were thinking about when you went to college, what you were preparing for, um, you know, what, what yeah. were you thinking about return on investment? You know, what, what were the things, you know, uh, that you were, were not thinking about in terms of planning yeah. and and being able to pay for it. Right. So I was the oldest of three girls and um, we, so huh, my parents moved out of town the day I graduated uh, high school and yeah, he was in sales. And so they were moving to a different territory. Um, so I moved in with an, an aunt and the plan had always been, so there was no money saved. I mean, we were three, you know, three girls, busy family. Um, and at that time they, they hadn't saved for it, but they had said that they would pay for it. Oh. Um, I, yeah. So, um, I had the grade point average to go to like the big state school to go to, um, Madison. Uh, and I think they were a little disappointed with me that I did because, I had been working in business right at the end of my college. Um, I keep saying college, my at high school. I had a business job. And so like my goal was to get the job, get the money, be independent, never have this need. Yes. Um, and so I was driven. I was just going to go to the local um, UW system and then work in business. So commute, you know? Um, and so I started and I would take my classes. I would schedule my classes so that I could go work, you know, five hours at the, at business and business, um, and then go to school. And, um, so I think I finished my first semester, uh, got comfortable. They, my parents paid for it. And coming into the second semester, I happened to be going to the counselor's office at in college and she told me oh my gosh you oh my gosh what was I thinking um 
she had forgotten that I was a minority. Um, I'm Hispanic. And she had just completed submitting a list of students with grade point averages um, that were higher um, that would receive full tuition scholarships. And so she was panicked that she had forgotten me because I would have qualified. And so she promised, she's like, I'm gonna go back to the company who's, who's paying for this and let's see if we can get you in. And of course everything aligned and sure enough, there was an extra slot so I received full tuition for, you had to maintain a certain grade point average, which wow. wasn't a problem. Yeah. But, but for my full time there. Yes. Um, yes. 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 Oh, my goodness. Yes. Yes. How huge is that? So it, it covered your oh. full tuition, but then you yeah. still had uh, fees and books and, you know, room and board um, you with your aunt or. Well, I was still with my aunt. Um, okay. so there was no room and board, but I, I want to say even the books, because I don't think okay. they had to pay for anything Wow. Uh, after that. Okay. Um, and, uh, so it gets even better. I, uh, I don't know if it was common or if it is common, but because of being on this list, then the counselor wanted me to meet with the Dean of the, the business school. Okay. So I met with the Dean going into my sophomore year and he wanted to understand career ambitions, all that kind of stuff. And he made some suggestions and he said, you know, I know you're working at this company, but have you ever considered this other company? And in our area in Southeastern Wisconsin, this was one of the top companies. This was like, if you worked here, this was golden. I'm like, I would love yes. to consider that company. I don't have any ins. Yeah. So he told me, well, why don't you talk to this professor? Because he does, and there might be internships. Well, there weren't. Now, mind you, this was the same company that was now giving me a full ride. Oh, so wow. I said to the professor, you know, hey, if you ever come up with something, you know, they're, they're paying for my school, I'd love to be considered. Well, I probably bugged that man every couple months. Good. And I kid you not, I think they finally made something just to shut me up. <laughs> <laughs> so they they got me an interview. There was no internship program in, in IT at the time. I was the first. They they hired me. They had no rules. They had to figure out, well, I don't know how how much you can work. So they let me work whatever hours I wanted, um, which, again, was as much as I could take scheduling around it. Right. Um, they later created an internship program and it was very limited in the hours. Yeah. So, I mean, it just, it like shows you like, so this persistence of being front of mind, yes. right, paid off. Yes. 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 Um, yes. It continued because I was then placed on an advisory board as the youngest student as part of that advisory board at the college. And right. then when I got hired, at said company, um, I was the youngest person on their diversity board. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. So, I mean, it just like who you knew and being present, it yes. just served me. So, yes. well. so they later paid for my master's degree. <laughs> so I have, I have been so fortunate, so fortunate. Wow. 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 You have been fortunate. And also it's not by accident. Yes. You know, so that's what I want people who are watching this right now. It's not by accident. You, 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 you fell into some really great situations, but it started with, and, the, and I actually just wrote this down because I love this quote. And so I'll be making a graphic and you'll be seeing a uh, Jamie Shibley quote, okay. persistence to be front of mind paid off. Because it's that persistence of networking, which is exactly how you and I met was through a networking yes. organization. And also, yeah. if you wouldn't mind sharing with the audience, what do you do every single day to help thousands of people be persistent <laughs> to stay top of mind? Isn't that funny? <laughs> yes, I um I worked for that company for 20 years and I left and started my own company and I do um I'm a strategic we call it now a strategic engagement agency. We do gifting for businesses that create the engagement 
right? The the engaged relationships they need. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. It's always been my way. <laughs> yes. Yes. So it's one of those things where like, like for me, um, a lot of people say that I'm easy to talk to. And so I do a lot of these interviews and a lot of people will say, you do a really great. Oh, hi. We didn't know we were going to have your coworker. Up. Yes. Cool. We had a guest. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Love on me, mama. Yes, yes, yes. Right. So, right. You know, it's like you took your oh. natural inclination and you just kind of followed your instincts but then you honed it. And then what you said was because persistence is so important. And you said, I bug that man every couple of months. You know, it wasn't like you yeah. got no or a not now. And you're like, well, I guess that won't work. And, you know, a lot yeah. of students will say, well, I can't do scholarships because, you know, I applied for three and I didn't get any. I mean, we got to keep trying and we got to keep doing and we got to have persistence. But to know that there are debt-free degrees out there. So you actually have a debt-free degree, bachelor's and master's degree. I do. I do. It is incredible. Zero debt. Yeah. I mean, in, in, yes, it, it took like, you know, I had to get the grades. I had to keep certain things up. Uh, but to me, that was the easy part. Like, yeah, I, I can do that. Just somebody set me on the path. Sometimes right. it's about that relationship who you knew. Right. 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 Um, right. You know, and I think the other important thing you were talking about, you know, students thinking and, and giving up. I can't do this. I heard it. Um, I have a good friend who has a celebrity friend. He came up. I, I think she says he barely had a high school degree. Mm. And the man had his own talk show. He is connected with so many different celebrities. And the reason he got there, nobody told him he couldn't. Yes. Like, just keep that in mind, right? Like, yes. Nobody told me stop bugging the guy. Like I didn't know. Yeah. No. <laughs> there was no reason not to, you know? Like yeah. so yeah. so don't give up just because of the first no. And right. and you and I um have been coached by um some of the same um business mm -hmm. leaders and mm -hmm. and um they say, you know, keep track of the no's. And maybe you're setting out like 10, um, what was it? The Q-tips, set out 10 Q-tips mm -hmm. and challenge yourself to get the 10 no's because eventually there's a yes there. Yeah, yeah, exactly, you know? exactly, exactly, exactly. And you keep envisioning it. That's the thing is yeah. that that's what the Q-tips does. The Q-tips makes it so you can see it. And that's one of the things yeah. you in debt free degree. Begin with the end of mind. Begin with the idea that you're going to graduate fully debt free, that you're going to have this amazing trajectory. And uh, and then, you know, what does it take to work backwards to be able to do that? So, well, I am so delighted that you shared with us uh, your tips, tricks and tools. And I um, I love the part about the networking. And also, I'm curious uh, what it is that you because you have your family I mean you have kids that are about to go yeah, to I do yeah and so what is it that you are um teaching them or telling them about these intangibles like I I know that you probably you know set aside some money for college and you know maybe you can write a check for the whole thing but also there's there's some intangibles that they need to do so what what is it that you're yeah. telling them well you know and as I'm thinking about your very first question what was my mindset going in I don't know that, and maybe I'm just forgetting, but I mean, it wasn't a big conversation about make that your goal, yeah. right? And so in our house, um, having learned from you now, some of the, um, your training and this whole use other people's money, yes. my goodness, what a good goal. Mm -hmm. Like how, so, so my son is, um, he's about to be a senior in high school mm -hmm. and we've already started working like I had no idea how early you could start working on scholarships. So thanks right. to you. Um, and so he and I have already been having these conversations and yeah. what now, yes, we started saving when he was young, but it's nowhere near enough. Mm -hmm. And what we told him is uh, he's very driven. He's money motivated right now. Works mm -hmm. a lot. He works three jobs. Uh -huh. um, I bet he got that honest okay. from his mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got some of those tendencies. <laughs> um, but, and I love, he's a saver. He, this is what's motivating him. This is watching yes. that grow. And yes. so we said, you know, 
For every thousand dollars in scholarship you earn, we'll put a hundred dollars cash in that bank account for you to use. You know, whatever you're gonna do, pay for your pay for enjoying the college experience, whatever yeah. that looks like, right? Exactly. Um, but it's less money out of our pocket. Why yeah. wouldn't we? Yeah. Uh, and he's already done it. He, I I started a list of scholarships. Uh -huh. He has submitted six of them already in the last two weeks. Excellent. Excellent. So Excellent. Your, yeah. your encouragement, I appreciate all of that. Good, 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 good. Oh, that makes me so happy. So, so, so happy. And then he will tell his friends and then you'll tell your yeah. friends that have sons and daughters that are, you know, it's like it's yeah. this movement. That's what I want to see. Join the debt-free degree revolution and watch this movement because there's about to be, it's called, I'm not going to necessarily say the word correctly, but it's like this 2025 college admission cliff uh, where colleges are about to see a drastic reduction in the number of students going to college. Part yep. of it is price. Part of it is the amount of student, the the number of kids we're having, you know, in our families, okay. not necessarily. Okay. And then also with COVID and then there, you know, we might see some schools that go away. We might see some, you know, I just uh, got a notification the other day that there's a, a private school who is like hanging on by a tiny little thread with their accreditation. And so what does that That's do sad. for all the people who graduated from there or who are in the middle of a degree? And this school is probably about to close. And so, we you know, just had one locally close. Really, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so thinking about that and, and having these kinds of conversations, I think is so important. So uh, I could oh, uh, I love that. literally all day. <laughs> you, thank Same. You, thank you. So thanks yeah. for being here. Debt-free degree, beloveds. This is Jamie Shibley with the Expressory. And so reach out to her if you have gifts and uh, things that you would like to send. And thank you for sharing your story, Jamie. I appreciate you. And, oh, the, and the guest you. says goodbye as well. Yes. This yes. is Miss Shelby. Hi. <laughs> thank you. Shel thank you for Shelby having me. Shibley? Shelby Shibley, yes. Shelby Shibley is in the house, y'all. All right. <laughs> We call her Shelby Lynn when she gets in trouble. Okay. Oh, yes. I, my mother used to middle name me. Yes. Okay, y'all. Thank right. you. Bye-bye. Thank, hey. thank you. Okay, Chris, uh, cut the video here. So, Jamie, real quick, I'm going to do a reel real quick if you're okay with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Hello, Debt Free Degree Beloveds. I am here. Pontification with a Pro is one of my favorite series to interview. And I am here with my dear friend, Jamie Shibley. And in a little bit, you might see her coworker, Shelby Shibley, who may pop up her little snout and say hello. And <laughs> Jamie is sharing her Debt Free Degree story. I'm not going to share all of it. I just want you to know that this lady has not one, but two degrees that she earned debt free. And she can trace all of it back. And I wrote it down, so I want to be able to quote her directly persistence to be front of mind paid off so if you want to know how her persistence paid off then you can head on over to the patreon page to watch the full interview thanks y'all